Oh, hey, what's up, guys? I'm just down here in my camp lair doing man stuff. We're gonna get right back to the video, but first I have to talk to you about Carbonox watches. The last watch stood up to the test, so they sent me a new model to beat up on. Carbonox Space Crafter. Yeah, I have almost 8,000 steps in today. It's not a big deal. You can do all kinds of man stuff, like sharpening, hiking. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. Cooking on an open flame. All right, so seriously, guys, I thought a long time about getting a smartwatch, but a lot of these watches were upwards of $300 or more, and they just didn't seem very tough. As an outdoor YouTuber, I really am out there. My watch is getting caught on stuff. It's clanging up against a machete. I'm moving rocks around in a fire pit. There's a lot of opportunities for a smartwatch to get broken, to get scratched, to get messed up. So I definitely didn't want to spend that much money on something that did not seem very sturdy. Carbonox contacted me and wanted me to try out the Titan. I love that model. Now I'm trying out the Spacecrafter. This thing really is tough. You'll see me wearing it throughout the video and I was not disappointed. It's got an awesome battery life. The charge lasts for well over a week. I can check all my health stats. I can check my blood pressure. I can check my heart rate. I can check my steps. I can check my texts. There's my buddy Derek texting me right on because I said, dude, let's go crush some brews. There's my wife asking me to pick up, uh, never mind. I can do all of that at a moment's notice. I can connect it to my smartphone and cycle through a bunch of different faces. The spacecraft has a micro-blasted metal body, a titanium frame, and a gorilla glass face. So seriously guys, these watches are very inexpensive. They're only around $100. Carbonox gave me a discount code. You can check for it in the description. Not only that, it's super comfortable and it looks great. So check the link in my description and see if a Carbonox Spacecrafter is right for you. All right, everybody, let's get back into the action. God, I'm exhausted. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am out here on the Nord House Dunes on the eastern coast of Lake Michigan. It's absolutely beautiful, but I'm not gonna lie, that hike in here kicked my butt. I am going to find the very first campsite that I come across. We're gonna get set up there. Gonna get some firewood, got a couple beers to get into. Gonna cook a nice dinner and enjoy this absolutely beautiful view. But before I do that, I've gotta take a little nip off of the old banana flask. Mmm. Oh, that's my favorite. I don't know if you can get it everywhere, but that is New Holland Beer Barrel Bourbon. 
Woo! That is good stuff. All right, let's get into it. All right. I checked out a bunch of sites. Um, this is actually the one that's the closest to the trail. Doesn't have that view that I'm looking for, but what it does have is about a one minute walk away from a gorgeous beach area. So we're gonna go ahead and take this spot. This is an absolutely fantastic camping spot. I'm sure that later in the year, um, this is probably usually taken up. This is the very first uh, halfway decent, you know, kind of weekend of the year for this. It's not really hot. A lot of people like to come here when it's hot because in this region, this is kind of as close as you can get to something that's similar to the ocean. It's just so big and vast and it's got a sandy beach and you can kind of, you know, pretend like you're in California or whatever you want to do. But um, yeah, so there, there's not many people here. Um, I was really on the fence about whether or not to filter water from the Lake Michigan here. I talked to another guy. He said he's done it before and he was fine. So that's what I'm going to do as well. If I feel up to hiking about a mile that way, he said that there is a creek, which I would feel a lot better about. But um, I think it'll be fine for tonight. So I'm going to get set up. We're going to get everything rocking and rolling here with the camp. We've already got a nice little fire place or, or kind of a fire pit type area set up here so yeah i'm gonna get camp set up first and then we'll figure out what the heck we're doing after that Woo! to move the tent around a little bit because I wanted to have the opening facing this way. It was also not quite on the flattest part, so I scooted it over a little bit. Now it's doing pretty good. Now that doesn't look too bad. Get my pack all laid out right there. Oh man. The dogs are barking. Won't you be? Please won't you be? Won't you be? My neighbor. Oh yeah. Won't you be my neighbor? Now it is starting to get a little chilly. Not quite ready for my puffy or my long sleeve that I brought, but an extra layer wouldn't be bad. Big uh, thank you to my best friend, Chris. Came up with a design and is an absolutely beautiful human being. Still gotta make a fire and cook dinner. I actually did bring a little gas stove um, that was sent to me. It's like a jet boil type of um, butane 
stove. So I'm excited to try that out. I do intend to do some campfire cooking here. Got the titanium pan that I love. I carry that inside of a little light canvas uh, drawstring bag just to keep soot and everything from getting all over the inside of the backpack. I've got to go down and filter water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the beers. I'm going to put them in the bag. I'm going to tie the rope to the bag, put the bag out in the water, which is freezing cold. So then we're going to have some cold beers and then we'll be in business. So let's go. It tastes pretty darn good. Hazecraft IPA from Great Lakes Brewing Company, a hazy IPA. Yep. That's what it's all about. So by this point, I feel like I put the work in. It's my favorite part. Sun's going down. Getting ready to kick the fire up. Cook up some good food. Oh, have a couple beers. just relax you know uh, yep this is the whole point of it <sighs> this is living
that feels good. It's starting to get a little chilly. I may have to put my shoes and socks back on. So the other thing is there are black bear roughly in this region that like, you know, it's classified as there are black bear here, which means that we're gonna be super careful about food, um, falling on the ground and all that type of stuff. We're gonna have to hang food from the tree tonight. So definitely gonna be doing that. So my very good friend, Corey, really likes these Ready Wise meals and she picked these up for me. So I'm excited to try this for breakfast. And then Adelove sent me this cool gas stove. It's like a jet boil, similar to like how a jet boil works um, and the design and everything. So I'm excited to try that. In the morning, I'll do my coffee um, and my water for this dehydrated meal. But you know, I like to do my campfire cooking. I'm doing pretzel bun, sausages, uh, and then I'll grill up some onions and a little bit of pepper. Um, and I'll just top those bad boys off and we'll make a whole thing out of it. You'll see. It's coming up right now. I mean, you'll see it in five seconds. For me, it'll be a minute, but for you, it'll happen before you know it. So I switched into this uh, base layer that I always talk about that I love. But I also have a um, <laughs> another interesting um, apparel choice today that I haven't gotten a chance to talk about. It wouldn't be a Sam Bananas video if I didn't forget something. I drove four and a half hours north to do this trip because this is an area I absolutely love and was all the way into the parking lot getting all my gear together, changing my clothes before I realized I didn't bring my belt. So anyway, what I did that was really cool was I had an old kayak strap that was in the car that I already kind of replaced with new ones, but this was laying around, so I just cut it. So, using a kayak strap for a belt. Does that count as bushcraft? <laughs> Probably not. On the menu for tonight are Johnsonville sausages. I got pretzel buns for those to go on. I'm gonna fry up some onions and fry up some uh, peppers to put on there as well. And then I'm gonna do one potato slice into potato wedges and deep fry that. The thing is I kind of realized that timing all of that out with using the pan in two separate instances for two, two things, it's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna cook the French fries. I'm gonna eat them. And then I'm gonna turn around and do the peppers and the onions while I cook the sausages. So we're gonna have two courses. That's not bad, right? Oh, and I got a secret ingredient to go on all of it that you've probably seen if you watched a recent video from me. Here we go.
I don't even know if I feel like dicing up those onions and peppers and cooking them. I might just want to cook the brats and put Arby's sauce on them. It's perfectly acceptable. These are good. No question about that. Since I'm leaving tomorrow, I know the onions and the peppers will keep. The brats will not, I assume. So screw it, I'm gonna go ahead and cook those up. Sand beer. Nothing like some good old fashioned sand beer. Oh, doggone it. Hot dog. Talking about getting charbroiled. I'm literally crunching on dirt and sand. That's okay. Overall, it's pretty good. Except for the sand part. 
it occurred to me that I'm not being very bear safe. I definitely made an attempt to be, but I think I've failed at that attempt. That doesn't mean I'm gonna completely throw caution to the wind. I'm eating over my pan, catch any extra food. I am gonna take everything and hang it from a tree. Hello. Hi. How you guys doing? You guys all right? Yeah, dog's trying to uh, short the pine. Oh no! Good luck, guys. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Ugh, dirt. Ma'am, dirt, dirt, dirt. <laughs> Definitely a classic camping meal. Hot dogs, sausages, brats, all that stuff. Mmm. Very good. I don't know if you heard it, those people walking by, they're out here camping too. It's early in the season, so there's not a ton of people. Usually this place gets completely overwhelmed in the summer. So if you come here in the summertime, it'll be like your uh, music festival or something. As far as I know, there was three parties myself another guy solo over there and then a group the guy back here did tell me there was a group that way which means they came this way and then took the main trail which is behind me i don't know how much you caught on video there but i said how's it going they were like we're cool we're we're leaving we got a dog emergency i said is everything okay and they said yeah our dog found a porcupine i'm sure he'll be okay you know he's gonna have to go to like the vet and I mean that's not something that's real easy to handle way out in the middle of the woods like that and when you're out here where there's definitely animals then you know there's definitely risk when, when you when you're um ah dirt ah yuck I don't know if I can eat this other one screw it Ew. Ugh. Ugh. I'll get through it. I'll get through it. Mm. I don't know if I can talk while I'm doing this. Give me a second. I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Oh, dirt. Dirt. Freaking dirt. Good lord. Okay. There we go. I did it. Freaking day. Nothing like eating a freaking sausage full of dirt. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, it is what it is. I, I hope the best for him. So I don't know if those guys will see this or not, but um, if they do, I hope your dog's all right. Oh, okay. I'm gonna chill out for a second. And then we're gonna hang this food and all of the surrounding equipment that goes with it. Toothpaste, don't forget to hang your toothpaste. Rest of that oil's in there. Got toothbrush, toothpaste, mixed nuts, uh, coffee, tea, coffee creamer, cheese. This is food stuff. Cup, we'll tie the rope around here. Fork, grill, breakfast dehydrated meal. Garbage, and the rest of the beer. Ugh. So we'll get this all hung from the tree. Even if a bear gets it, I don't want the uh, bear coming over here. Oh, and uh, when the pan's done having all the food burned off, then uh, throw the pan over here as well.
All right, guys. Whew. I am pretty whooped. I am pretty stuffed. After that dirt sausage. Beer's all in the tree, so I'm done with the beer for the night. I'm gonna drink some filtered lake water and uh, watch this fire die down. Dump the rest of this water on it, put it out. And I'm gonna hit the hay. If anything uh, interesting happens, like another emergency dog evacuation due to porcupine, uh, I will be sure to let you know. Otherwise, catch you in the morning. Night, everybody. No. Oh. Morning, everybody. Oh. Slept in a bit here. Um, oh, I just had such a great sleep. Um, but I really got to get up and get after it because um, I got a big day ahead of me. Oh. So let's work on getting everything torn down here. Woof, here we go. Using my uh, Puffy as a pillow and uh, looks out really, really good. This is actually a polyester fill. Um, it's not a down, but it is cold. What's the amount of that sleeping bag? It's not summer yet. So morning is cold up here in Northern Michigan. So we're gonna get this bad boy on us. And get our food out of the tree. Let's go. Now I got no water left for my coffee. So head on down with me and let's go get some water out of the lake while we wait for this to rehydrate. I'm gonna go ahead and just boil this water without filtering it. Keep in mind guys, I am an enthusiast. I am certainly not an expert. So just cause I do something doesn't mean it's 100% the right thing to do. Um, in fact, if you wanna weigh in on this, boiling water out of Lake Michigan, I'd be happy to hear your thoughts in the comments below. That is not, that is soup. 
It looks like it's too much water. It said two cups. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it in there for a little while longer and we'll see what happens. Ugh, let's tear the tent down. not gonna lie this is not tasting the best I still have high hopes for this brand hopefully I did something wrong and um, that's why it didn't rehydrate or I don't know exactly what but I do like for these meals to cut the top off like this because I don't have that long spoon I think this makes uh, eating it a lot easier taste is definitely there it just didn't rehydrate that well and I left it in there for way longer than it said to <laughs> it's crunchy in all the wrong ways One thing I will say about this nature hike tent is that it is exceptionally difficult to get the tent back into the bag. Other than that, I am a huge fan of nature hike. They're really high quality backpacking tents and they're super affordable. Single pole system on a lot of them. The two I have are single pole systems. Um, they set up like that. I'm gonna see if I can rig up some kind of a solution for the future because I don't want to struggle with this every time. That's silly. All right, guys, that's another one in the book. I appreciate so much to everybody for tuning in. If you like what you saw this time and you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so. It means so much to me. Once again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching. I appreciate everybody tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.